The Dunning-Kruger effect describes a cognitive bias where people with limited knowledge overestimate their abilities, while experts often underestimate theirs. This paradox stems from cognitive and social dynamics affecting self-perception and competence evaluation. Understanding this effect sheds light on the complex interplay between knowledge, expertise, and self-assessment. Here are seven key reasons behind this effect. 1. Lack of metacognitive ability. A primary factor contributing to the overestimation of one's abilities, as observed in the Dunning-Kruger effect, stems from a metacognitive deficiency. Individuals with limited knowledge or skills in a specific domain often lack the critical ability to evaluate their own competence accurately. This gap in self-awareness hinders their ability to identify personal errors or areas requiring improvement, leading to an inflated sense of capability. 2. Misinterpretation of experiences People may mistakenly gauge their aptitude in new areas based on past successes in unrelated fields, leading to overconfidence. For example, someone proficient in one profession might wrongly believe they possess expertise in a completely different area, lacking relevant experience. This assumption ignores the distinct challenges in skill sets the new field demands. 3. Cognitive bias. The phenomenon is driven by cognitive biases, particularly confirmation bias, which skews perception and judgment. It causes individuals to only acknowledge information that supports their pre-existing beliefs while ignoring contradictory evidence. This selective focus strengthens existing misconceptions, intensifying the original misunderstanding and distorting self-awareness and evaluation of information. 4. Social Comparison In the realm of self-assessment, certain individuals eschew objective metrics in favor of subjective comparisons with their immediate peers. This approach can lead to skewed perceptions of one's abilities, specifically if one views themselves as more knowledgeable or more adept than those in their surroundings, it may result in an inflated estimation of their own competence and skills. 5. Limited exposure to knowledge. Paradoxically, a narrower scope of knowledge often blinds individuals to the expansive nature of what can be learned, leading to a misunderstanding of a subject's depth. Those with only a superficial exposure to a topic may fail to appreciate its intricacies, consequently overestimating their grasp of the subject. This lack of awareness contributes to an inflated sense of understanding and expertise. 6. Misunderstanding of luck versus skill. Occasionally, individuals may mistakenly credit their successes to personal skill rather than acknowledging the role of luck. This misattribution can bolster their confidence in their own abilities, leading to an overinflated self-assessment. Such a scenario becomes problematic when these successes, largely influenced by chance, are inaccurately used as benchmarks to gauge true competence and skill levels. 7. Information overload and accessibility. The digital era, characterized by an overwhelming abundance of information, can easily foster a misleading sense of expertise among individuals. The ease with which information can be retrieved online often blurs the line between mere access to data and a genuine, profound comprehension of it. This confusion can result in individuals overestimating their knowledge and understanding, mistaking superficial familiarity for true expertise. In summary, the Dunning-Kruger effect highlights the importance of metacognition, thinking about one's own thinking as a component of true competence. It means being humble and self-aware enough to challenge your own beliefs on occasion. It also suggests that developing a more accurate self-assessment requires education, experience, and a willingness to listen to feedback and reflect on one's own knowledge and abilities. Thanks for watching.